Good afternoon. And I guess I first should say I'm sorry about Ginger's video. We shot one on Monday. I put it up on YouTube. And I I guess when I went through my phone, I thought they were on. And I deleted them off my phone, which deleted it off of YouTube because it wasn't on yet. So, you're going to get a long one today. So, we're going to weigh them really quickly. And you'll notice they've all had a haircut. Um... And I want you to look at this one. Look at the speckles on this puppy. This is crazy. I have never seen a Merle speckle out this much. Usually these big patches like on her hip are big everywhere. She's like mega, mega speckles. I love this speckling. I wish I had more of them like that that speckled. I know I see you. So they all had, they had their haircuts on Monday when we did the video and uh, that you didn't get to see. So all we're gonna do re this morning is reweigh them in here and then we're gonna put them in the play yard and we're gonna let them play. So we're just gonna go through this really quick. We're gonna weigh them as I turn it off and um, give you microchip numbers, collar colors. I know I see you, Mr. Busybot. All right, so this is the yellow collared male. He is microchip number 8898. He is four pounds, 9.5. Can you look at in the camera real quick with your haircut and your big eyebrows? I know you, are you next? Do you wanna be next? All right, so now we have the orange collar puppy. 8889, or I'm sorry, 8899. Can you see a big difference? I told you they'd come out of it. So it always takes them a little bit. Some schnauzers are worse than schnoodles about being scared in new places. Four pounds, six ounces. Whoop, 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 whoop. This one is not sold, I don't think. I think this is the one that's not sold, maybe. I don't know, I can't tell you. Look on the website, if we look on the website, I think you're, I think you're still left. So, he's got double green eyes. Yep, got double greens, double greens. Okay, you're down. We did the yellow, let's do the merle. We are microchip number 8881. She is two pounds, 14, two pounds, seven, two pounds, 1.5. She's got to gain or she's not going to be able to be spayed. So it just depends on how that weight goes with her. But she's got to get up to three and a half pounds. Don't you? Don't you, don't you? I know. She says, what are you doing down here? You got dark eyes too. All right, come here, mister. Come here, mister, mister. All right, this one's the male. He's got the little bit of, in fact, Monday on the video, I pointed out, he's got this shadow all around his white spot. It looks really cool, but it fades out all the way around, all the way down his neck. All right, so this is a black and white male. And he is microchip number eight, oops, 8897. Oops, I'm sorry. I flipped backwards, didn't you? Didn't I? Okay, climb up here. Four pounds, 2.5. No, do not get my chipper. All right, and the last one is the green collared female. And her microchip number is 8,900. I'm gonna put this up here because they're gonna wanna chew it. No, 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 no. No, you can't. I know, they're all helping us too much. Get out of here, get out of here. I'm gonna put you on this way because you don't wanna get on this scale. All right, nope, don't help, don't help. Three pounds, 11, three pounds, 12 ounces. All right, so let's take you. Here, you come down here and let me sit. Oop, I'm about, you're about jumping on my hands all together. So there you can see your face if he leaves her alone. All right, so I'm gonna get up and Vanessa's going to put it over here in the playpen and I'm going to grab a couple at a time I guess I can do three if I'm going to step on the pin. And we're going to turn them loose in the play yard. First of all, I want to put them up the way. There you go. He says, oh, where am I? <coughs> There's another one up there. Two to go. Okay. I hope you're nice and not doing butt shot when I do this. Nope. Gotta get a hold of you. 
This is the first time they've been in here. So they're going to have to look at it, figure it out. There you go. Now they've all been in there. So sometimes it takes them a little while to go through. Um, lots of times they're a little bit apprehensive. Um, not quite sure what to do, but they'll get over it. And we're gonna leave them down here and let them play for a while. I'm gonna get you back on the screen here in a second. I'm trying to move around and get this opened up farther. Okay, okay. I'm done trying to make you dizzy. It didn't go matter if we just set it over on the edge. I didn't have it hooked together, but this group isn't rowdy and won't tear it apart. If you want to go and work on those books and put some more of those papers, I want to get those books out of there if we can. Um, they have been in the garage with us. They've been doing really good on no bark, no bite, no and no lick. They are inquisitive. This is a first time they've seen any of this. So they're like, mm, I'm not sure. That was a babble ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vanessa just gave me the mop. Oh, they're going to even maybe look at the tunnel. Maybe. They're trying to scratch their collars. Oh, this one says, where are we going? They're like, I don't know yet. Once they get used to this, then they'll... just not quite sure there was puppies in here yesterday and we took it apart so we've got it leaned up against the wall we had a bunch of it added and we probably will add more because we got libby's to come down here and there's eight of those and they're big they were supposed to go home this last week but their vet appointment's been changed to the 16th there goes that stupid babble ball so there's a bunch of them yet to come down here and we're going to weigh them and probably bring them down tomorrow maybe they're going we're not sure we want to play or not no we're not sure they did really good with their haircuts nobody was difficult sometimes it can be a real stinker but these guys were really good they're like mm, i don't know they're not sure says we're just not sure well she found the fringe on the carpet that's always something that they seem to be in enthralled with the other carpet they don't bother at all but the ones with the fringe on it oh yeah that becomes a great source of fun i've been going to cut the fringe off so the male has decided he's going to cry says i need someone for security I'm waiting on one of them to see who's a brave one. Come here, Stinker. Let me show you. Look on the other end. There's people down there. There's one down there looking at the other end. I don't know if he's going to... Nope, he came out. There, you go in. See what you think. This is up. Oh, coming out. They'll do it on their own. Takes them a little while sometimes, but they'll do it. I really thought they were playing like crazy people when we were upstairs, and I really thought if we put them down here in the play yard that they would play. So I'm going to stand a little bit farther away from them, a different angle, and see what they do. They look super cute with their haircuts. They really do. They're really good in the garage. They're not noisy. They've done really well with the training for that. And um, they had another bath this week. They also had their hair cut on Monday, their toenails done. So now they're going to congregate by me again.
I need to bring him down here with a couple others that like to play over the ramp and teach him how to use the ramp. He said, oh, I found out that spins. Hopefully they won't find the crack in my crate in my kennel over there. No, don't mess don't mess with the gate, bud. This one found the rattle ball. Inquisitive. I think they're more enthralled just looking around to see what everything is. One thing about these guys, too, that I had on your other video that I deleted. So their ears are really fuzzy. I gave them a schnauzer cut, and I left every bit of that hair on their ears. Do not let any groomer cut that hair off the ears until they're at least 9 to 10 months old. If you cut that hair off now, I guarantee you they're going to stand up either like the flying nun, if you're old enough to remember the flying nun, or they'll come on up and they'll stand up like a jackrabbit and they'll be there the rest of their life like that. And they look ridiculous that way. That's the biggest mistake that people make with a schnauzer puppy when it goes to the groomer. If you are not explicit and write it down on paper and make sure you hand it to them and write down whatever you want done and, and circle, do not trim the ears. Because if they cut the hair off the outside of their ears, they've ruined your dog's ears for the rest of its life. Um, especially as a puppy, because their calcium levels are going to change all the time they grow until they're about 9 to 10 months old. And then the calcium levels quit changing. So with the calcium levels changing, the ears change. And I've seen so many people think it's so cute. In fact, I went to buy a schnauzer once and we had not planned on trimming that one's ears and the lady had shaved their ears because she thought they looked ugly and I said well they're, they're cute but I don't want one she said what do you mean I said you shaved their ears they'll come up and stand up like telephone poles and I said I don't want the puppy because I don't plan on cropping the ears so I did not take the puppy it was a nice puppy but I didn't want to have to spend the money to crop the ears on that particular puppy and um, it had pretty ears in its pictures but she cut all the hair off of them before I went to pick it up because she thought it would look better so Depending on the ear set that you like, do not trim the hair off if you want their ears to lay down. Uh, when you come to pick up your puppy, I'll give you some suggestions on ears. You can also encourage them to stay down, um, and I'll tell you how to do that when you're here. But, um, you know, they might look funny, but I would let them look funny till nine months old. You're better off to live with fuzzy, funny ears for nine months versus... 15 years of telephone pole jackrabbit ears. And because um, a lot of people say, well, what kind of dog is that? Oh, it's a schnauzer. What's wrong with its ears? You know, that's usually the remark they get. So they're just demolishing my carpet. I really like that carpet too. I got them at Costco. I've got a couple of those. In fact, I got a couple different colors of those. I'll tell you, fringes, they don't bother this other carpet at all because there's no fringe on it. So I'm going to have to cut the fringe off. That's all there is to it. Now they're going to run. They've gotten a little bit more at ease. They're a little bit more sure of where they're at. They're just not sure what to get into. More fringe. Yeah, more fringe. They're so bad. You gotta name this one Ladybug with all of her spots. Ladybugs have spots on their back. Look at that, they're gonna demolish my carpet. You guys are heathens. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that off. The next time you see this carpet in a video, there'll be no fringe. They're so bad. When you're not playing with them at home, please lock them up. They should be spending 50% of their day in the crate. So about every hour and a half, it's out the door. If you work, leave the kennel panels off the kennel. Don't put that divider in the middle. Leave it the whole kennel. Set it on your wall to where the door um, 
If you have a door on the end, put the door sticking out in your room. If you have a two-door crate, do not put the door that's on the side out in your room. You want that kennel to stick out in your room and, and then long and narrow, don't put it on the wall. And the reason I tell you that is because they have trained themselves, which is a mother nature thing, to go up to the back of their kennel and go to the potty if they have to potty. They're not going to hold this for you for the first couple weeks. They might go all night, but they will not hold it during the day in the crate. So it's really important not to punish them. Don't leave them out on your floor. Okay, if somebody had to go get on this one that's not hooked up, didn't they? So when you're not playing with them, they should be locked up. That doesn't mean they're on the cute little bed by the fireplace. They've got to learn that their crate's their best friend. So the only way to do that is make that crate a fun place for them. Every day when you put them in the crate for a new day, give them something new to chew on. It could be a new bone, a bully stick. Um, I'm not a great fan of Kongs because most people don't realize they black mold on the inside. So if you get a bottle brush and you clean them out every week, it's not so bad. But I have seen some of the most disgusting, gross Kongs in the whole world. And I, I really ought to think they ought to supply a brush with them when they sell them because they gotta be cleaned on the inside from all the saliva where it molds. Um, but a lot of people put a cracker in there, something that they have to really hunt for to get to. And bully sticks are great, bones are great. Don't be afraid of a rib bone. Don't cook it. Make sure you give it to them raw and they'll spend half their day chewing on that bone. Um, it's good for them, it's good for their teeth. It's got calcium in it. If it's, um, you know, when they're older, they'll eat the whole rib bone. So long as it's all natural and it's raw, you're fine. But don't buy these smoke bones in the stores. They, they crackle and they break um, because they've been heated up. Um, bully sticks are not a bone. It's a giant piece of gristle that they cut in sections. And if you're a Costco shopper, check out Costco's bully sticks. They're usually a really good price. There's 12 in a bag. You can cut them apart and make 24, which is a good buy because half of that 12-inch bully stick will last that puppy for a week or two. And uh, pig ears are good. They're used to pig ears while they're here. Uh, let's see what else. Are they? Uh, they're also used to baby carrots. I think somebody's coming through. Who's coming through? Ta-da! Yellow collar. What are you doing? Did you make it? Good job. Where's the other one? It's down there thinking about it. I see a tail. Nope, she, he changed his mind. He says, come on guys, let me go show you. I thought I'd go back down through and show them. Sometimes they'll go and when they learn, learn a new thing to do, They'll run down through there and um, show the next one what to do. It's kind of like monkey see, monkey do. Tell you what, she might be a little. She takes no crap. She gives it right back to her brothers and sisters, just the same as they give it to her. So when you get these guys home, just remember, it takes them about three weeks to adjust to a new situation. Don't take time off to stay home with your puppy, <coughs> excuse me, because you're going to get them used to a whole few days, whether it's a week, three days, two weeks. I have people take their two-week vacation to stay home with a new puppy, which is really goofy because you get that puppy so bonded to you. Oh, there goes another one through. I guess it's the yellow collar again. You get them bonded to you, and then all of a sudden you're gone again, and then they revert back to what they did before. So don't change your schedule for the dog. This is funny. This one's inside. They think it's they can get to it from the outside. So he says, surprise, I'm not in there anymore. That's so funny. Usually one discovers it, then they all start discovering it. 
He said, oh, is there somebody in there? Can I go through? Nope, he didn't go. The yellow collar was the bravest. Sometimes it's fun that you can watch these guys and sometimes the one that does everything first is usually the one that's the most outgoing in here, but that didn't count. His one little time, the two times through the thing. Oh, this one's chewing on the tunnel. Well, I hope you've enjoyed their video. I'm really sorry that I screwed up and deleted it before we got it put on on Monday. But um, they're doing great. We were just between Vanessa sick, Brittany sick. I had oral surgery yesterday. And I didn't even look back at the computer yesterday. And uh, so that's really weird. But I'm sorry I deleted that before I got it on the, the website. So I hope you've enjoyed watching them get weighed today, seeing their new haircuts. Seeing how much they've changed. Schnauzers are a different bird. Um, terriers progress a lot differently than the schnoodles do. And uh, it takes sometimes, it takes some litters a little bit longer to get out and get going than it does the schnoodles. So these guys, a couple of them are just a little bit slower getting around to, to getting in gear and getting going. And But believe me, they're going now. <laughs> it's crazy. I thought maybe he'd turn around and go down through there, but he hasn't. All right, I'm going to get out of here and go get this loaded up for the internet for you. And um, if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please give me a call because I'm really getting full on some days. So she says, I found a hole in the fence. Oh, she's thinking. She looks down that tunnel and she's like, I don't know. Yep, there she goes. She's going to go all the way through. I think she's going to come out the other end. Nope, she came back. <laughs> she made it three-fourths the way down there and turned around and came back. I thought that was going to go look where she went. All right, guys, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.